Hey guys, today I'm going to draw a line in the sand and make my opinions about Wizards of the Coast very clear. I would not buy any new cards, I would not buy any modern cards, I would get out of this game from modern and standard especially. I would not draft, I would not play limited, I would just play EDH and casual because no matter what Wizards of the Coast does to those formats, they will be around. It is in my opinion, and I will present the evidence, that they are trying to destroy this game. I'm not entirely sure why. Maybe they want the new CEO to look bad. Maybe Magic Arena is going to take all the, the space and they need to get rid of the physical cardboard to encourage everyone to play Magic Arena. Banning HQ is a terrible, terrible financial decision. No matter how much you disagree with him or how much you dislike him, I do feel like it is unfair. Banning Travis is even more unfair in my opinion because he just created a Facebook group, he didn't moderate it, he forgot it, and then people made memes. Those memes got out, as they always do. They always get out. Let me say that to the other YouTubers. It always gets out. And if you feel like, oh, HQ got banned, great. You're next. You are next. Everyone has skeletons in their closets. Anyway, how does this guy who has been accused of sexual harassment and has been found, I don't know if you say guilty or not guilty, but he has been, but the judge, which committee, committee, which is an independent from Wizard of the Coast, which is very strange as well, He's been kicked out. He is a judge, and from my reading of what he did, he used his position to ask people very creepy on dates. Imagine you're a female magic player, you call the judge, the judge winks at you, hugs you, and asks you on a date. That is just creepy beyond all creepiness and you ask why women don't play in Magic. Okay, Alex Pacini, banned two times for cheating, caught multiple times on camera, including at high-level events, won multiple events, and well-documented cheater is now able to play Magic again. He's not only allowed to play Magic, he is favored by Wizard of the Coast. I could go into greater detail, but a picture, there's Rudy, one of the most popular magic channels right now. Rudy is a great guy, but I'm sure that someone introduced him to Alex and Rachel. Rachel is currently in Vintage League by Wizards of the Coast, so she is heavily promoted and Wizards of the Coast also promotes Alex. Again, known cheater. In the past, they have promoted cheaters in the past. You have to understand Magic's history because this is really important when I say this. You have to listen closely. They believed it was necessary to have a villain. That you had to create a villain. Alex Pacini is their villain. Alex Pacini is their Mike Long. Mike Long was the villain of Magic. John Finkel was the good guy. Sometimes the villain would win by cheating. Sometimes the villain would lose. By not cheating enough. And that is what Wizard of the Coast is doing. They are supporting Alex. They're promoting the crap out of him so he can be the villain. Embarrassing. Okay, let's talk about a lawsuit that many of you have forgotten. Imagine you're on a Facebook group. It's a private group. Of course, it's always private. And you, somebody puts, posts a picture of a leaked card. You don't know if it's leaked. You don't know if it's not leaked. Oh, it's kind of funny. Okay, cool card. And it's a group of judges. Now, Wizard of the Coast is super angry at you, and they disqualify all of you. They ban all of you for having a leaked card in your Facebook group that you yourself didn't put in there, and you yourself didn't steal. How many leaks have happened in this year? We had Commander 2017, the entire decks were leaked. The entire dragon deck was physically in someone's hand and they were taking potato shots of it. 
the entire Ixlon set, an entire set of magic cards, rares, and mythics were leaked. And let's keep blaming the Facebook groups because that's exactly who did it, right? The Facebook groups, through some advancement in technology, were able to get the leaks. No, it is your problem, Wizards of the Coast. It is not the consumer problem. It is not the judge problem who is volunteering to help you. Now, Puker Trade. I wanted to make this video on Puker Trade. I wanted to say this about Puker Trade a long time. Magic Gathering promoted the scam. They knew it was a scam. They promoted a scam. How can I prove it? Well, they promoted Magic Vintage League, which was sponsored by Puka. I saw commercial after commercial. It was part of the video. It wasn't like a YouTube ad video. It was part of the video where they would promote the scam on the Magic Gathering main channel. The main YouTube channel was promoting Puka Trade, and they all knew it was a scam. There's proof. There you go. So the Vintage Super League was on the Magic Gathering main channel, and every single time there would be a commercial in the middle, there would be a commercial in the end. Obviously, they don't do this anymore because they would get called out on it, but given the fact that the Puka Trade owner, Eric, made $5 million from Magic players, how did they get those many millions of dollars? Well, Wizards of the Coast. Just... uh putting all the fists in a barrel for uh, Eric to shoot. Anyway, but that's not even the worst part. Let me explain what the worst part of this whole thing is. People are willing to sell their souls for a free monthly magic box. Not gonna name names, but they know who they are. People are willing to lie to subscribers if you go on this video and you look at the comments, there are people who didn't receive their box. There are people who think that, oh, you're, these sleeves are not very good. These are very bad sleeves. There are people who express concern, but that doesn't stop content creators from producing videos sponsored by Wizards of the Coast. Things are gonna get really tough in the next few days. And people, you will have to, you cannot remain neutral forever. Christine, I agree with her. I agree with her opinion. And I wish HQ would have just apologized and made it a little bit better. And then we wouldn't have to deal with this. But now that we have to deal with it, card quality is very poor. Wizard of the Coast is a terrible, terrible company. I have dealt with them from the counterfeit instance. And I can tell you, absolutely unprofessional in every single way. And I have recordings, I have records, I have emails. Some of the stuff they were talking about, I mean, from one lawyer to another lawyer, are you, what the, what are you doing? Like, like, what are you doing? Like, at least save your own reputation, right? Things are going to get much worse in the coming days because there's a lot of skeletons out there. And I have a few myself, which will be interesting. There's a lot of people who supported the monthly magic box when everyone knew it was a scam. And there, there were Facebook posts where people knew they were, it was a scam and they still continued to make videos promoting it. They still did. There are people in Wizard of the Coast who believes that silence is the best solution when they're promoting diversity. And there are people in our community that's livelihoods have been affected negatively, including Travis, including HQ, including Christine, because Wizard of the Coast, Wizard of the Coast did not treat Christine the way that she should have been treated. She should have been paid. Wizard of the Coast did not treat judges the way they should be treated. They should be paid. Wizard of Coast did not treat HQ the way he should have been treated. He should have been treated with some idiom of respect. And of course, Travis, who is a pro Magic player, was treated horribly by Wizards of the Coast in this instance. And at the end of the day, I'm only going to play EDH. I'm going to speculate on some cards because manipulating a market is kind of fun. And it's relatively easy to do if you have the capital. But I would advise you 
that the just the numbers don't add up. There's no standard cards that you can make money on. There's very little modern cards you can make money on. It's reserve lists are bust. And if you buy cards on a reserve list based on what Wizards of the Coast has told me on your counterfeit policy, they don't make any money from that. So that's what I would urge you to do. I would urge you to play the eights. I would urge you to do kitchen table. I would not urge you to buy. I would urge you not to buy unstable. I would urge you not to play in competitive level play because Alex Marchini is still out there, and they're still promoting him as this villain of magic for their own marketing ploys. In the past, that was Mike Long. This time, it's Alex Marchini. I can lay way more dirt on this than needs to be. There's a reason Alex is not banned. He's still playing magic. And there's a reason HQ is banned. Anyway, bye guys.